Hi everyone, Jeremy from thecustomgeek.com here and wanted to show you this little uh, solar badge that I got from Adafruit. Uh, it's really shiny, you can see my wrench lights on top there uh, reflecting off it, but uh, it's about a 2 inch badge and uh, it gives you 5 volts at 40 milliamps. Um, so you can see I have an LED sticking out, so as you might have guessed, there's stuff on the back of it. So I have a um, uh, this kind of heart shaped PCB that I dremeled off. These, these, are, these boards are uh, from Adafruit, they're the Perma Proto boards way way good quality boards I'd highly highly recommend these I'm probably using these from now on because uh, they're just really really good high quality stuff so um, that's the board we have a 328 on here and the crystal caps to run it and then we have a, a TG36 temperature sensor down here uh, we have a poor man's accelerometer or a tilt switch that's uh, a little uh, switch you can hear the little ball in it we do that um, we have a tactical just a little push button switch and then we have an RGB LED and the resistors uh, so we don't overdrive it and uh, so what this guy does as you might have guessed with the temperature sensor is it does things by temperature so um, this functions right now it's functioning right now but as bright a light as I have in this uh, on this bench right here I cannot reproduce the sun uh, I've tried with HID lamps and got really silly with some lumens but uh, it wasn't quite enough to replicate the sun because the sun is the sun. So we're going to, uh, what I did is I just jumpered, I uh, soldered some jumpers on here so we're going to piggyback some power here. I'm going to turn on my power supply and say uh, 5 volts at no more than um, 40 milliamps. Okay. Turn that output on. So now uh, you see the LED light up and it's kind of a pinkish, pinkish purplish. And what it does is the colder it gets, um, uh, it'll go more blue, and the hotter it gets, it'll go more red. So uh, blue and red are inverse, uh, inversely written. So um, it'll it'll fade between the two pretty smooth. And so uh, as this temperature sensor gets hotter, uh, it'll go more red. And so I don't know if you can really tell on the camera there, but it's uh, I can see it fading red. I have a keyboard duster here, so if you hold those upside down, you can get this squirt a little uh, propellant on here. You can get this guy pretty cold. And when you do, um, you can see it turn blue there, and if you if you get it cold enough, it'll flash blue, which means it's below the freezing. Um, you can see the ice on the sensor there, just, just did that. So if I warm this guy back up, um, it'll go blue and then slowly fade uh, into red, and then back to, uh, back to where it was. Now, if you would want to know the actual temperature instead of just looking at blue and red, um, that tilt switch back there, uh, if you give this guy a shake, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's 66 degrees. Uh, not in the room, but this little guy from, from warming back up here from from that. So if we, if we get a little bit more time, it'll be warmer. But if you shake it, it'll tell you the temperature. What it, How it does that is that, as you just saw, is it flashes uh, the hundreds, uh, if there is any, and then it flashes the tens, and then it flashes the ones. Um, and so, again, that's... Give it a shake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Seventy-two. So now it's seventy-two degrees. So uh, that's kind of what that does as far as temperature. Uh, that's mode one. If we hit this little switch here, um, we'll get a flash, and it'll, it'll flash steady twice, and then it'll do the RGB rainbow effect. And so it'll just cycle through there. If you just want to wear a badge with bling, which hey, who doesn't, right? So um, there's a third option. Mode number three. And uh, mode number three just continuously flashes the temperature um, on the LED. It, it does it in red, and then it does it in green, and then it does it in blue. And so uh, you can walk around constantly displaying the temperature and have people ask you, what in the world is that thing? Uh, and then if you push it again, it'll go uh, back to the original mode where it just goes to uh, red and blue, and then you give it a shake, and then it'll give you the actual temperature. So. Um, it's pretty neat. It does work. Uh, I had it outside. Uh, it does work quite well. It uses internal voltage reference, uh, and so if it gets a little cloudy, your temperature is not going to go weird because of the analog reading. Um, turn this guy off here. So, uh, neat little project. Um, I like it that it's it's small. Uh, it's wearable because it has this little pin on it. So you can pin it on yourself or pin it on your coat or your jacket. And then at a glance, you can say, "Oh, it's really cold out. I don't want to go outside." Or it's really warm, or what is the actual temperature, and give it a shake, and then you get the actual temperature. So, and it doesn't need batteries, pretty neat. That's it. Thanks for watching.